What's up? Welcome back and thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Pit Pals with USAC on Flow. Today we are meeting Charlie. He is CJ Leary's dog. He is an OG pit pal, been around in the pits for so long, for so many years of his life, for all of the years of his life. He might even be brushing his hair for us today, so let's go meet him. <laughs> I got Charlie after losing my first black lab and um, I really wasn't ready for another dog um, but my dad went and Charlie up and um, I didn't want anything to do with him for the first I don't know two or three months I, I was trying to get over losing the last one and um, you know Charlie came you know, just like every other guy in my family named, well, all, all the Learys are named, boys in our family is named uh, Charles or Charlie, so uh, it's really fitting. There are the, any nicknames, nicknames he has? Uh, he's got all kinds of nicknames, you know, uh, Charlie for one, uh, Barney, Barlow, I mean, dog. Bingo. Uh, bingo, dingo, literally anything you can uh, shout at him, he's going to come to you. Clearly, he loves to go swimming. Charlie, do you want to go swimming? Yes, I know, I know. But um, you know, he never really had any favorite toys. Oh, you know, he fell in love with Mr. Chicken, <laughs> and he just would not leave this stuffed animal alone. But any type of bone, um, he really loves to chew on when we're sitting in the shop or at night in bed. He'll he'll get a bone and destroy it in bed. Favorite snack besides bones? He does he does pay for all of his things in bones, but besides bones, what's his favorite snack? Oh man, like I said, pork chop bones, steak bones. Um, he does not like pretzels or pickles or goldfish. Um, man, pretty much anything that you can uh, flip up in the air, he's gonna he's gonna try and eat it. All right, let's see it. It's about all we got in the trailer right now. Bill's done devoured everything we had in there for snacks since the beginning of sprint week. But see, we have his divided attention now. Yeah, now he just wants so snacks. Now. All right, does he snore? Um. I don't know. Does he snore? I, I think I think he snores, he dreams, he runs in his sleep. Um, he does this weird thing where he stares at the wall in the middle of the night and I think our house might be haunted, but um, for a long time, like 11 o'clock, he would just look in the closet, look at the wall, and it was kind of creepy to be honest. Does he know any tricks? He knows all kinds of tricks. Alright, let's see him. Alright, come here Charlie. Sit. Sit. No, sit. Come here. Sit. Shake. Sit down. Shake. Alright. Leave it. Watch me. Oh. Man, you are greedy today. You are greedy. Alright, up. 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 Can you Ah, he ate that one too fast. Can you shake? Other hand. Good boy. Up. Up. Good boy. Well, that's all the snacks we got. Well, that's the more and we're out of snacks. We got one more. We got one more trick. We do? Yes. Come on, Charlie, up here. Sit. Sit down. He loves a big tire. Him a good boy. So in like 2000. 16 or so we won a, a race at Lawrenceburg, Sprint Week race, 17 actually, and we brought Charlie down to Victory Lane. He jumped up on the tire like this and he sat down and the tire was so hot, he, uh, he burned his butt, he burned his butt. So I think he had a traumatic experience that night. All right, what do you do to stay busy at the racetrack? Uh, he, uh, he does this thing where he lays on my gear bag and I warn everyone that comes to the racetrack not to mess with Charlie when he's on the gear bag. He, uh, he gets really protective over it. I put my clothes in there while I'm racing, and uh, he'll bite. He'll bite just about anybody over that gear bag. And uh, he's had some close calls, and he's got a couple victims. So he'll, he's, his job is to hold down the gear bag. He holds the fort down really well. No one's coming in our trailer to uh, do any vandalizing. What's the biggest mischief he's ever done? We were in Ojai, California, with Troy Rutherford's family. They were. Um, grateful enough to take us in during uh, Thanksgiving and we'd all sat down got our, our dinner plates and we hear this noise coming from the from the from the kitchen Charlie was up on the island eating the whole turkey 
and Troy's mom had a meltdown, as would have any mom. You know, he uh, he stole Thanksgiving that that, that year. The and, dog uh, that stole Thanksgiving. Yes, <laughs> yes and he uh, he didn't regret it. He got all the turkey skin, and um, you can see he doesn't miss a meal. No, no, he sure he's, doesn't. Uh, he's a loaf, that's for sure. If your dog could talk, if Charlie could talk, what would he say? I think he would have a British accent. Yeah, I don't know why you'd go that way. And I, I don't know why, but I think that's what he would say. He would, that would be his accent. Um, but honestly, I don't think words can describe what he has seen and experienced <laughs> in his lifetime. Um, he's eight years old now, and I think he's been to more racetracks and more states than most people have. Um, man, he is just an experienced dog. He's been coast to coast, been in the Pacific, the Atlantic, and um, he's chewed up lots of bones, lots of sticks, and been, I don't know how many miles he's traveled on foot, but it's gotta be a lot. Yeah, I feel like if he could talk, he would say, I'm hungry, all the time. He is always hungry looking for his next meal. Don't leave your food unattended around Charlie. He it is, will be gone. He is a black lab, and they are very hungry, and he is very fat. Um, but honestly, he exercises. He goes on runs with me almost every week, and he, he loves it. But, he looks tired right now. Um, we are on day seven. Well, day, yeah, seven. Day seven, seven of sprint week, and he normally gets a little bit grouchy, so I'm surprised he's doing this good. All right, so the last thing we do is the contest about who he likes better, me or you. We've done this before, and I lost miserably. We can try it again. We can try it again. We can try it he's again. pick you again, but we can do it just for fun. He did. He did. He did. He was undecided at first, but he's uh he's definitely dad's dog. <laughs>